So the Glasgow Coma Scale is an old tool. It's been around for quite a while. It was originally developed for EMS to kind of triage those patients and get an idea about how severe this injury was. But it definitely has some benefits for us as well. We know if that patient comes in, their GCS is 14 or 15, they're early from their trauma, that's a pretty good indication of a good neurological outcome. And some of our clinical decision tools will look at this as well. But if they have a GCS less than 14, then this patient may have some of a moderate or mild brain injury. And the lower that number gets, the more severe that brain injury is. Now to take into consideration that the GCS does have some limitations. I'm looking at their best eye movement, their best motor response, their best verbal. But obviously if they're intubated, I just lost all their verbal. Or if they have some mid-face trauma, they have a lot of periorbital edema, I may lose the ability to assess that as well. So it does have some limitations, but we can definitely use it to trend and to quantify that. 